To every one of my subscribers out there, to every single member of the Till We Make It tribe, thank you. Thank you for supporting the work of this channel. And if you are able to take your support to the next level, now is the perfect time to come join us over on Patreon. Whether you support Till We Make It at the Apprentice tier, the Troubadour tier, or up at the Master tier, the moment that you join, you instantly unlock all 203 Patreon-exclusive videos. These are full episodes of Till We Make It, which will never be seen here on the channel. They'll never be released to the general public. This vault of wrestling information and knowledge becomes open to you the moment that you pledge your support to Till We Make It. And we would love to have you come join our community. Check out the various options, perks, and bonuses you get over on my Patreon by following the link, which you know is down below in the descriptus. I'm Mike Quackenbush, and this is Till We Make It. So you're struggling to choose a ring name, the name you're going to use throughout your professional wrestling career. Well, in order to make sure that the name you come up with is relatively unique within the wrestling sphere, but that it also appeals to your personal sensibilities, I've got an exercise that we're going to complete together, as well as a couple guidelines you need to follow. And to start, we're going to build a matrix. And to do this, we just need a pen and paper. We will not be building a reality warping simulation. So here's how we're going to build your name matrix. I need you to collect both first names and last names that you like the sound of. And I want you to do this from some of your favorite movies, TV shows, comic books, video games, anywhere you want to draw inspiration from except from pro wrestling. Do not pull from professional wrestling. So yes, you might pull names from the drummers of your favorite bands. You might pull names from the suspects on your favorite true crime podcast. You might pick names from the supporting cast of characters on your favorite childhood anime. That's a great start. Before you go crazy with this exercise, an important guideline. Don't choose from the same era over and over again. You know what I mean by that? If you read a whole bunch of comic books in the 90s and you're going to pull names from that source, don't also pull names from the movies of the 1990s. If you watched a whole bunch of the CW shows back in the 10s, well, don't also pull inspiration from the names of video games published in the 2010s. Once you've assembled both the first names and the last names into your name matrix, I want you to start combining them. And it doesn't hurt to work your way through all the permutations, but you need to end up with at least three that you really like. We need three strong candidates at the end of this exercise. And if you do work your way through every possible pairing in the name matrix, and you get to the end, and there aren't at least three strong candidates, three possibilities that you really like, start the whole process over again by adding more first and last names to your matrix. By the way, if this kind of nuts and bolts examination of just one facet of professional wrestling excites your imagination, please subscribe to my channel right now if you aren't subscribed already. This ensures you never miss out on a video. So once you've worked your way through the name matrix and it's given you three strong candidates, three ring names you think have real potential, there is some due diligence that needs to be performed. And I'm going to give you some guidelines for that right now. If you look at prowrestling.fandom.com, you will find fairly up-to-date roster information on the WWE brands, including NXT, AEW and Ring of Honor, TNA, MLW, the NWA, etc. When you're looking at these roster pages, though, it's important to make sure it says current in the header or you may not be looking in the right place. And here's what you are looking for. You're going to scan these current rosters for any names which sound too similar to names you got out of the matrix. For example, 
Let's say one name you got from your name matrix is Michaela Black. You feel like that is a strong possibility. But through this process of due diligence, while looking at the current AEW roster, you spot the name Malachi Black. Well, Malachi Black and Michaela Black, they are too similar in my opinion. That means Michaela Black is no longer a viable option. You can cross it off your list. You don't want to end up with a ring name which seems derivative. I want you to know, if you plan to be wrestling primarily in English-speaking countries, this bit of due diligence is essential work before you finalize what your wrestling name is going to be. And I do think you need to check all the strong candidates against the current active rosters of the WWE's brands, including NXT, TNA, both AEW and Ring of Honor, the NWA, and MLW. You're going to check against them all. And if you get to the end of that process and there's one left standing, I think there's a really good possibility this is your new wrestling name. Or if you get to the end of this process and they've all been crossed off your list, put more names into that matrix and run the whole process again. Right now, there are nearly a thousand wrestling organizations active around the globe. And yes, you could attempt to do this bit of due diligence by running your names against all their rosters. But what you're going to discover is there's only so many names out there. Sooner or later, you're going to find someone whose name is a little bit similar to you. Follow my recommendation. Stick to the rosters of the WWE and their brands, AEW and Ring of Honor, TNA, MLW, and the NWA, and stop there. Because if you keep going down that rabbit hole, I think it is a path to madness. The last thing we want is for your wrestling name to evoke a different wrestler in the minds of fans. But there is no 100% safeguard against that. Maybe long after you've debuted, a new wrestler with a similar sounding name ascends to superstardom. Well, then your name will end up evoking theirs in the minds of fans, and there's nothing you can do about it other than come back to this video when it's time to pick a new name and do some rebranding. I think choosing your wrestling name is every bit as important to your apprentice phase as getting custom entrance music made and designing your gear. And that's why I put together a playlist of what you can expect during your apprentice phase. It's on screen right now. Click on that so you can keep on learning. And a big thank you to all my awesome patrons, a complete roll call of which is on screen right now. Thanks, gang.